everybody. I thought it might be nice for us to still do our choir performance that we were rehearsing for before we all left school. Um, uh, so I thought it would be a good idea for us to um, do that virtually by form of a virtual choir. So I don't know if you've seen um, on YouTube, you can um, actually put lots of videos of people together and make your own virtual choir. So we can still do our performance um, as a virtual choir. So I'm going to be recording some videos to help you. And even if you weren't in choir before um, we were rehearsing this last time, we're going to be going through it all again from the beginning. So um, if you want to join in, uh, feel free to do so. This is open to absolutely anyone who wants to join in, um, and any age group, any year group. So um, whoever wants to join in, feel free. We're going to be doing a bit of warm-ups. We're going to work on our performance over the next six um, rehearsal videos. And then what I'm going to ask you to do is record your um, track and then send it back to me on a, on a video um, and I will then put them all together and we will uh, have our end of term performance. So um, for those of you who don't know the song we were working on was from Matilda the musical and it's called When I Grow Up. Um, so we're going to be carrying on working on that one. Um, there's four different parts to learn in it. Um, and it's going to work out so that um, there's solo parts, so if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can sing along um, to the solo track. Uh, you can sing along to all of it and then um, I will put the bits, different bits together. So if you would like to do a solo, you don't have to, um, you can do that. We can do duos as well, so if you only want to do a duo, you obviously will have to sing on your own um, for the purpose of the recording. But um, if you don't want to be on your own, I can put you with someone else as well, so let me know. There's the solo parts, that's the first part. The second um, part is part one, and that's going to be sung by anyone in reception or in year one. Um, so that will be part one. That's kind of singing the tune, the easiest part to sing as well. And then we've got year uh, the second, the, the third part, as it were. That's going to be year two. I'm going to sing that. I know we've got lots of um, people from year two in choir, so you, you're going to be singing the middle part. And then... Our bass part is going to be sung by anyone in years three to six. Um, so remember those parts later on. We will. What we will. What I will be doing is I'll be recording each track. So even if you um, get confused through the rehearsals, you'll be able to sing along to that track. Um, and I'll, I'll explain how to do that as we get closer to uh, recording it. So um, you, yes, you can basically um, pick your part and then we're going to rehearse and then in a month's time on the 1st of July you can send me all your tracks in so we've got, we've got some time to practice and get some good practicing in and then in a month's time we will, uh, on the 1st of July I'm going to put them all together and then uh, we can release that on, on our YouTube video. Uh, if you don't want to join in with the singing, um, the submitting, you don't have to as well, you can just join in with the rehearsals that we do, um, it's completely up to you. So without further ado, let's get started with our warm up. So when we start with our singing, we need to make sure that we are standing up. I can't see my head. <laughs> I can't be winning. There we go. So we're going to start with our warm up. We're just going to start shaking out our arms. And give our bodies a little shake, shake out our legs. We're just going to roll our shoulders back, rolling our shoulders back, and then we're going to roll our shoulders forward and then squeeze our shoulders up to our head and release them. And squeeze them up to our head and release them. Shake our arms high and shake our arms low, shake them to the side and shake our arms low. And high, and one high, one low, and switch them round, and one out to the side and one high, and one down low and one out to the side. Very good, well done. Okay, so we've done some shaking, we've done some warming up. Now I'm going to teach you um, a fun game, warm up game that we can play. It's um, to the song The Grand Old Duke of York, so hopefully. You know that song. We'll sing it through once. Um, you can sing along with me, and then we're going to play a little game. To see if I can catch you out. So it goes like this: Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had ten thousand men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Woo! Okay, so we're going to do that again. 
And this time, we're not allowed to sing the word up. Two, three. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were, they were, and when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway, they were neither nor down. Ah. Did you do it? Did you do it? Okay, next we're going to sing it, but we're going to miss out the word down. We can sing up, but we can't sing down. Two, three. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were, they were. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor very good, well done. Now we're going to sing it. We're not allowed to sing up or down. So uh, let's try and catch you up. Three, four. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them to the top of the hill and he marched them again. And when they were, they were. And when they were, they were. And when they were only halfway, they were neither nor. Very good. Now we're going to switch them round. So instead of singing up, we're going to sing the word down. And when we're going to sing the word down, we're going to sing the word up. Confusing. Two, three. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them down to the top of the hill and he marched them up again. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were only halfway down, they were neither down nor up. <laughs> Did you get it? Did you get it? Okay, this time we're going to sing it, but we can only sing the words up or down. Two, three. Up, down, up, up, down, down, up, they were, <laughs> up, down, woo, even I got caught out then. How did you get on better than me, hopefully? Okay, so next we are going to do a little rhythm game. So this one, um, you're going to clap out the rhythm. We're going to clap out eight counts, then six counts, then four counts, then two counts, then one count, and then we're going to say the word hey. So I'll show you how it goes first. It sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now one, two, three, four, five, six. Or one, two, three, four. Or one, two, one. Hey! Okay, so we're going to try that all together. So first we're going to do eight claps. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to do eight and add on six at the end. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A one, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Now we're going to add on a four onto the end of that. Four claps onto the end of that. And it helps if you say it out as you're clapping as well. So count with me. Two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A one, two, three. Five, six, one, two, three, four. Very good. And now we're going to do two on the end. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, one, two. And lastly, we're going to add on a one and then we go, hey, when we've got it right. Five, six, seven, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, hey. Very good. Now your turn on your own. Five, six, seven, and. How did you get on? Very good. We will practice all these warm-ups um, every day as well so we can get better and better as we go along. Okay, and the next one we're going to do is a little bit of breathing. So we're going to make sure that we're standing up nice and straight. We're going to take a nice deep breath in. And then as we breathe out, we're going to go... And we're going to try to keep that breath going out as nice and contained as we can so that the note can last for a really long time. We're not going to push it all out in one go like, and then it's all gone and our breath's gone. We're going to try and really try to hold our breath as long as we can because this song has got some really long notes in it. So we're going to try and practice being able to hold our breath and conserve our energy. And one thing that I was taught is that when you, if you imagine you're breathing through a straw, um, so you focus that you're breathing um, just a little bit and you're trying to, you know, continually get that breath coming out and flowing through the straw as you're breathing. So let's take a deep breath in and then we're going to breathe out through our straw. And 
And if you um, need to, you can take a little short breath and then but try and really get that breath to, to go out. So we're gonna try it for 16 counts this time and try and hold it so that it goes out and it's a nice sound that um, say, stays the same in consistency. So it's the same, it sounds the same volume each time that we are going. So we take a deep breath in and then we're gonna breathe out. Very good, how did you get on? Now we're gonna try and do it for 24 counts. You take a nice deep breath in. And we're gonna try and as we do that first note, we're gonna try and really conserve our energy. So not going tss, not too much out as we first start that off. Breathing in and Very good, I did better that time. Right, what do we think? Uh, we try one more. Let's try 32. Can we do 32 breaths? We're gonna take a nice deep breath in. We're gonna really try and conserve our energy. So not, not we want too much sound coming out in the first breath. You wanna hold it back so that you've got more as we go along. Let's see how we get on breathing in. Really using our tummy muscles as well, filling up all our spaces, um, our lungs and our tummy, all of that area, even into our backs, we should have lots of air space, air pockets for us. So really filling all of that up. And... I think that's about as far as we can go so that's a really good one to keep practicing to really help you be able to hold those long notes uh, when you're singing it's a really great exercise to practice for that one okay the last one we're going to imagine we've got a massive big energy ball um, filled with energy and we're going to throw it high in the air and as we do that we're going to make the sound that it might make so it's got lots of energy and it's going to go Woo! and you catch it again i'm going to throw it to you and you can throw it back to me ready Woo! throw it back very good. I'm going to throw it again up in the air and woo! Ooh, caught it. Throw it to you. Woo! Catch it back. Woo! Thank you. Okay, so we're going to practice throwing this energy ball really high, as high as we can, and we're going to see how high we can go up and how we can go down. Okay, three, two, one. Woo! It. And again, throw it really lots of energy. Woo! Catchable. And throwing it again, again, really high. Woo! Oh, caught your ball. Well done. Good job. That is the end of the warm up. So now. Okay, so we are going to practice the song and we're going to break it down into six sessions, as I said. And this session, um, I'm going to first of all play to you the track so that you're familiar with it if you've not heard of it before. Um, and this version that I recorded, so this is the version that we're going to be singing. It might be different to what you're used to or what you've heard before. And it's got a few solo parts at the beginning and then we all sing and then there's a couple of solo parts at the end. Um, and there's a few different parts in it as well. So um, just if you can remember, so if you are in... Um, reception or year one you're going to sing part one if you're in um, year two you're going to sing part two and if you're in years three to six you're going to sing part three so if you guys um, kind of remember that when you're singing it you're not going to be able to identify the parts yet but we are going to break those parts down for you as we go along and then you can practice um, your part individually which you will eventually be singing and we will all put them together and have a nice choir piece something to celebrate at the end of the term so I'm just going to play that song for you now so that you can listen to it and just get familiar with it. Moon, moon, be tall enough to reach the front. 
branches that I need to reach to climb the trees you get to climb when you're grown up. When I grow up, I will be smart enough to answer all the questions that you need to know the answers to before you're grown you have to fight beneath the bed each night to be a grown-up when i grow up just because you find that life's not fair it doesn't mean that you just have to grin and bear it you can always take it on the chin and wear it but nothing will change And that's not right. Okay, so now that we have heard the song, um, we're just going to, what you can do is you can go online. Um, I'll send you a link to where you can find the lyrics as well um, and get your parents to help you download the lyrics um, so that you, if you want, you can print them off or you can just have a look at them on a, on a screen or on your iPad or something. Um, and or you can you can even copy them out if you want to write them out that sometimes helps to learn them I find if I write my lyrics out um, it can kind of put them in my brain a little bit better so it's quite a good exercise to practice writing out your lyrics if you can um, so we're going to be looking at the middle section which is the bit that we all join in on there will be a separate rehearsal um, if you want to do the solo parts that will be a separate one so that you can, if you want to put yourself forward for a solo, we'll go through those parts too. We're not going to go through all those parts in the main sessions together. So, um, so yeah, if you, you can either print off the lyrics, write them out or um, view them online. That's up to you. So um, if you get your lyrics now, we're going to first start off, we're just going to start familiarising ourselves with the lyrics. And this song is quite punchy. Um, the lyrics are quite um, pronounced when they when they're said so we need to be able to really work on our lyrics and get good diction when we are pronouncing them so that people can hear them so um, diction is is means that when you say the words they they come out very clear so 
and I won't care, as opposed to and I won't care, which all just kind of merges into one. So we want to be able to say our words very clearly. So if we just um, look down, it's about kind of in the middle and it's the first line that we sing is, and I won't care because I'll be all grown up. So if you can just find that lyric now on your sheets. And what we're going to do is we're just going to speak it through. So I'm going to speak a line, then I want you to speak it back to me. We're not going to do any singing just yet. We're just going to get a feel for the lyrics and how they might sound and also adding in maybe a bit of rhythm. So the first one was, and I won't care because I'll be all grown up. Your turn. Two, three, four. And I won't care because I'll be all grown up. Good. Um, and then the next bit is, so that, that when we're saying that is quite, it's quite punchy, it's quite powerful. That's the first time we come in it's going to really kind of build. So we've got this nice build, it gradually gets more and more voices and then everyone comes in all at once and it's going to be quite punchy and I want that to be nice and loud. And I won't care because I'll be all grown up. So if you try that, and I won't care because I'll be all grown up. And what you can do is you can really try and open your mouth and really try to, um, make as big sounds as possible with your mouth so um, over stretch your words and I won't care you won't need to do that on the real song but it's a good way to kind of get your mouth into the shapes that you need to make um, and it will help you get those shapes for later on and I won't care because I'll be all grown up it might look a bit silly but it's okay because no one's watching us right now <laughs> uh, well lots of people are watching me but I don't mind looking silly um so the next bit we've got then when I grow up, when I grow up. So that's quite more lyrical. It's got a more, when I grow up, when I grow up. And there's, um, we say that a couple of times over. And the next bit, I will be strong enough to carry all the heavy things. Your turn. I will be strong enough to carry all the heavy things. One more time. I will be strong enough to carry all the heavy things. Good. You have to haul around with you when you're a grown up. So from the top, and I won't care because I'll be all grown up when I grow up. I will be strong enough to carry all the heavy things. You have to haul around with you when you're a grown up. You see, there's quite a lot of lyrics in there and that's why I wanted to really work on those sounds and those words that we're going to be singing before we start actually singing the words. And then we go again. And when I grow up, your turn. And when I grow up, good. And it goes, I will be brave enough to fight the creatures that you have to fight. Your turn. I will be brave enough to fight the creatures that you have to fight. Good beneath the bed each night to be a grown up. Your turn. Beneath the bed each night to be a grown up. Good, let's go from the top again. Two, three. And I won't care because I'll be all grown up when I grow up. I will be strong enough to carry all the heavy things you have to haul around with you when you're a grown up. And when I grow up, I will be brave enough to fight the creatures that you have to fight beneath the bed each night to be a grown up. And when I grow up, moving on, your turn. And when I grow up, I will have treats every day. Your turn. I will have treats every day. Next, and I'll play with things that mum pretends that mums don't think I'll like. Your turn. And I'll play with things that mum pretends that mums don't think I'll like. And I will wake up when the sun comes up. And I will wake up when the sun comes up. And I will spend all day just lying in the sun. And I will spend all day just lying in the sun. And I won't burn because I'll be all grown up. And I won't burn because I'll be all grown up. Good. So that's the main section. That's the bit that we all sing together that we're going to um, focus on 
over the next six sessions. So that bit, um, we've just kind of gone through all the lyrics and if you kind of want need to go back over that again, we're going to sing it all through once, then um, you can re-watch this video and pause it until you kind of feel that you've got that rhythm, that you've got those lyrics um, and that will really help you as you go forward. But if you don't know all the lyrics off by heart right now, it doesn't matter. Um, but hopefully by the end of the six weeks, we will, after we've practiced them every day, we will be able to remember them. So, um, just one more thing as well, when you're reading your lyrics, when you're writing them out as well, it sometimes helps you to be able to communicate with your audience because when we're singing we want to be able to tell a story um, to our audience. So it's a good idea to think about those lyrics. So we're not just singing words that we're reading, we're actually thinking about what they might mean. So it's sometimes nice to read, just read through the lyrics and you can do this on an exercise you can write out each lyric and leave a line below it. And then what you can do is actually write how you might think and feel or even just say it. So, um, and I won't care because I'll be all grown up. Um, what what does that make you think and feel about? You know, does that make you feel excited? Uh, does that make you feel scared? Um, are you happy about the idea that you might be a grown up? Um, uh, and I'll be strong enough to carry all the heavy things. How would that make you feel? Would it make you feel proud? Would that make you feel, um, would you be really strong? So when we're, we're saying these words, we're actually thinking about what we're singing so we can communicate that message by the way that we express our faces and um, as we're singing. So it's a good idea to start thinking about that now. We'll, we will cover that a little bit more a bit later on as well, our feelings. So we're just going to talk, sing through um, all of that that we just learned. So from the top, so from an I won't care all together, two, three, and an I won't care because I'll be all grown up when I grow up. I will be strong enough to carry all the heavy things you have to haul around with you when you're a grown up. Two, three, and when I grow up. I will be brave enough to fight the creatures that you have to fight beneath the bed each night to be a grown up. Good. And when I grow up, two, three, I will have treats every day and I'll play with things that mum pretends that mums don't think I'll like. And when I will wake up, when the sun comes up and I will spend all day just lying in the sun and I won't burn because I'll be all grown up. Good. So that is um, kind of the diction for that. We're just going to focus on the first um, four lines of the song. So I'll get that up for you now so we can just listen to those parts. So the first one comes in and it um, it sounds like this. And I won't care because I'll be your grown up. So that's how it sounds when we sing it as opposed to what we were just doing before when we say it. So it's going to be again nice and strong. I want it to come out like everyone, like you're feeling really strong in what you're singing. And I won't care because I'll be your grown up. So try that two, three and I won't care cause I'll be your grown up. And that last turn that up, we're gonna try and accelerate that through. So we're gonna get a bit louder with the volume. So it starts off a, a bit quieter and then it's gonna get louder as we get to the end. And I won't care cause I'll be your grown up. So we're gonna drop our mouth and we're just gonna let that R sound come out. And I won't care cause I'll be your grown up. Your turn, two, three. Three. Good, well done. Right, moving on. So this next bit we split into three parts of harmony. We're going to focus on that a little bit later. We're not going to worry too much about that now. Um, so we're just going to sing when I grow up. There are three different parts to sing that which we will go through um, when we go through your individual parts. So just for now let's all just sing when I grow up. So from the first line to there, two, three and. And I won't care cause I'll be your grown up when I grow up. up. 
So we hold that up for quite a long time at the end there, you hear. And so the next bit, again, we're in three parts. We're going to be singing when I grow up, when I grow up, when I grow up. There's three different things. So depending on which part you're in, um, which I will tell you uh, later at the moment, just um, focus on listening to it and then trying to kind of understand when the parts come in. So it sounds like this. When I grow up. Okay, so we've got when I grow up, when I grow up, when I grow up. So the three parts come in like that. So let's go back to the top and we'll sing all those three lines together. I won't care because I'll be all grown up when I grow up. When I grow up, when I grow up, when I grow up, I will be strong enough to carry on. Okay, so the next bit, um, we're just going to sing this last line and then that will be the end for today. So, I will be strong enough to carry all the heavy things you have to haul around with you when you're a grown up. Okay, so we're just going to sing up to there. So let's practice that bit one more time. I will be strong enough to carry all the heavy things you have to haul around with you when you're a grown up. Good, right, let's sing all of that with the music from the bit where we all come in. Let's go. And I won't care cause I'll be all grown up when I grow up. And we've got when I grow up, when I grow up, when I grow up, I will be strong enough to carry all the heavy things you have to hold around with you when you're a grown up. Good. So we've got up to that bit now. We're going to leave that rehearsal there for today and we're going to move on um, the next bit uh, on the next session. So I will see you all there. Bye bye.